Now before the video starts, despite my goal to get partner, this video is sacrificing that opportunity because it goes against the rules for partner. So because of this video, I will basically never be able to get partner in Toilet Tower Defense, which is a bummer. But then again, I only have 1000 subscribers, so making it to 10k will take me basically to the end of the year. I mean, unless you subscribe, but I'll stop yapping. Here's the video. Now we're going to be answering the controversial question, what is better? Toilet Tower Defense or Skibidi Tower Defense? Both of these games are really good, they pull thousands of players, and after playing both for quite some time now, I'm going to give my opinion on it. Now I'm going to try not to use bias, and also the game will be ranked in categories. Now the first category is obviously design. The design of the lobby in Toilet Tower Defense is really good. The lobby in Toilet Tower Defense is definitely better than the lobby in Skibidi Tower Defense. It's not as polished as a lot of the designs in Skibidi Tower Defense, but I like it. I will say one thing though, the UI in Skibidi Tower Defense is much better. They have a lot of buttons on the side. You can already see that the UI is much better than Toilet Tower Defense. It feels a lot more cartoony as well, which I like very much. It kind of reminds me of old Toilet Tower Defense days, and if I have to be honest, old Toilet Tower Defense was pretty much better. It was a lot more fun, not exactly better. But you can see, if you want to see in the crate section, they've got different types of crates. They all have cool designs, and if I open one for, say, just a rookie crate, they have their own spinning animation. Toilet Tower Defense is nothing like this. So while the lobby's better in Toilet Tower Defense, the UI is better in Skibidi Tower Defense, and that gives Skibidi Tower Defense the first point. Now, second point, animations. Let's get a couple of units. Oh, the other thing you could say for the designs is that the models for the toilets look much better. You get like mouse smoothing when you try to move your unit around. In Toilet Tower Defense, they just have a set health bar and then they vanish. In this game, however, when the health bar reaches zero, they flop over and die. You can also see the money that the scientists generate above their head when the wave skips. Like that. Just an example, DJ's is cool animation. He generates like particles all around him to show AoE. You can also see the circle around him to show how big he is. They've got the little music notes above him. Let's see another example. Acid Gunner, he puts down acid on the track. How cool is that? You can see the splat effects out of his gun as well. When they fall into the acid on the ground, they get poison damage and you can see that on their body. What else do we got? Yes, Titan Drill Man. This is the best unit I got in this game. I pulled it because I was very lucky. If we just delete the stuff we have now. He like drills the ground, which is kind of cool. You can like see him shaking when he does it. Animations in this game are definitely better. If you're wondering, this is the same animation as TV Woman. Like, even the Titan Drillman, he just slaps the people. Just another example. Wait, d pfft. His whole body just twisted, but his drill stayed. Yeah, I literally have to deduct a point from this game for glitches. If you want an example of another glitch, the marketplace that just released is lagging so many trades that it's basically just a marketplace server now. You can't trade. But the next category is way more important. Gameplay. That's right, finally, we're getting into things that you can do in the game. Now, I'm gonna say, if you can get your hands on Santa TV Man, Sinister Titan TV Man, Medic Cameraman, then basically, I don't know. I mean, Announcer Cameraman's also kind of good, which are pretty easy to get, if I'm being real. Then you can solo auto skip Nightmare. I wish I was kidding, I'm not. You can auto skip Nightmare, the hardest difficulty, and you can beat it in 17 minutes. <laughs> it's all very weird, I know. So this game isn't hard. Let's get that out of the way. Endless, however, is challenging. But if you don't get on the leaderboard, which gives you the really cool upgrade to Titan Drillman, then there's almost no point of doing Endless Mode because it doesn't give you enough for the time it takes. Most of the time I spent playing the game is buying VIP, getting the 20 gems every 4 hours and the luck boost or the coin boost. If I get a coin boost, I just pop the coin boost, play Nightmare Auto Skip 3 times because that's about an hour. Most of the gameplay in this is very weird. In Toilet Tower Defense, there's only the main crate, which swaps every hour. But in Skibidi Tower Defense, they have multiple crate systems. So the more coins you spend, the higher chance you have of getting a rare unit. Also in this game, you have a quest system for gems. In Skibidi Tower Defense, you have a quest system for coins, which has like three categories, monthly, weekly, and daily. Which unless you're doing those quests, there's no real point of playing Skibidi Tower Defense to grind. I feel like in both games, trading is one of the biggest core mechanics. But I find that I still enjoy playing actual levels instead of just trading the whole time in Skibidi Tower Defense. Just because the quality of the details are so much higher. Now I will say one thing, trading in Toilet Tower Defense is much more fun. You've got a Discord server to mess around with. 
you got trading plazas, you have a marketplace which is actually crazy. The only issue I have with marketplace is that it's lagging the TTD servers, which is a big problem. And also that the price of everything is going down, gem wise. Like some people are saying that it's better to just buy the units and the marketplace than spend the gems to get it for crates. I don't know, toilet tower defense has a lot of ups and downs. But overall I will say that it has a better economy. So I'm honestly gonna say, I'm gonna give them a point to both. The trading in toilet tower defense is much better than trading in scabitty tower defense. But likewise the gameplay in scabitty tower defense is better than toilet tower defense. So it's 3-1 right now! Not very good for Tula Tower Defense. But here's a thing that Tula Tower Defense will definitely shine in. Features! Just general features. I could go over so many things in this game. So many little details that make it good. So here's a couple of features that make Tula Tower Defense better than Skibidi Tower Defense. Titan Clockman Time Stop ability. It has a really cool effect. I prefer it over the Titan Clockman and Skibidi Tower Defense. Camera Spider and Speaker Spider are movable units. Gabitti Tower Defense literally stole that feature, but I prefer Toilet Tower Defense since you can actually see how far the camera spider is going to walk. Camera Repair Drone is a really cool medic. They don't have a lot of medics in Gabitti Tower Defense. Camera Repair Drone builds a percentage and then can heal a unit really fast when it hits that percentage. Engineer Cameraman can summon an ally toilet, sort of like the Barracks and TDX if you've ever played that. Godly can stun toilets. Titan Prisonman can throw a golden present, which is a 1% chance that does 500,000 damage. Healer TV Woman does massive splash damage and heals the base. Cupid Camera Woman has piercing. Frost DJ has an AoE that goes backwards. Look, the point is, no matter what you say, Toilet Tower Defense has more features. Talanthro gets very, very, very creative with the way he makes most of the units. Now that isn't to say that all units are good. Titan Drillman costs 600 Robux and he's trash. Mace Cameraman is horrible. Shotgun Cameraman's a mythic and it only does 6k DPS, which a literal legendary can do more. A rare monster speaker can do more DPS than most epics. And Turkey Cameraman does the DPS of a mythic. Some units are literal copy and paste, with just slightly better stats. But what's bad shouldn't ruin what's good, and so TTD still gets a point in features. Now next category is, is it free to play? Literally if you see in the store, 300 Robux, 500 Robux, 600 Robux. And these are really good units too. They're not exactly the best units, but keep in mind, the best units in Toilet Tower Defense are also technically able to be acquired using free to play. Now you're probably screaming at your monitor right now, because Toilet Tower Defense has way worse offers than these. And this, you'd be right about Toilet Tower Defense having bigger scams. Ace Cameraman and Jetpack Cameraman being the most apparent ones. And also upgraded Titan German. But both games have all their units able to be collected through free to play. So while Toilet Tower Defense is worse and Skibidi Tower Defense gets the point, you gotta remember that it's really close. Very, very, very close. Now this last category is literally just gonna be a bonus. But it's the way that Toilet Tower Defense treats their fans. I've already talked about this. They keep on just randomly removing people's partners. I think Toilet Tower Defense should be inclusive. They lost Bemi Blocks. They lost Mr. Bitcoin. They've lost Digito. Problem is that both of these games are so very close in comparison to each other. Everything that the other game does wrong, the other game does right for both of them. Like if we had PvP mode in Toilet Tower Defense, if we had the trait system in Toilet Tower Defense, the game would be much better. But you could also say that if we had Marketplace in Skibidi Tower Defense, then the game would also be much better. Same goes. So what I find is that Toilet Tower Defense an ideal world would be that these two games both collaborate. It means both games would have more partners, we'd all have a better game to play, and the whole problem with losing player counts, because yes, it is losing player counts. As you can see, my last three videos didn't do as well as before. If you look at another YouTuber, LT Crazy, his views are still pretty high, but not as much as before. Take a look at Popular, you'll see that all of these are from at least three months ago. A lot of the partners have started moving, moving games. I don't have a bias for any of them because I enjoy both of them. But tell me what you think below. And finally, the final verdict. What game is objectively better? You're not gonna expect this, but I'd actually say Skibbity Tower Defense by a very close call. These two games, while well, you probably don't even know it, are battling each other out, hand in hand. And although Toilet Tower Defense is a better player count, this game has way more potential. So like I said, if you're a developer, or you know the developer, or you're Talanthric, or I am Talanthric, or I am Mr. Beast, or Talanthric, point is collaborate! Please, it's better for everyone. 
If you agree with me, comment down below. If you're wondering, I'm not switching to Skibidi Tower Defense. I love Toilet Tower Defense. So yeah, no, don't expect any Skibidi Tower Defense type content anytime soon. I might visit the game one or two more times. Just because it's fun, I guess. But don't worry, I'm sticking with TTD. Oh yeah, and I forgot to ask, like and subscribe. I don't feel so good. Duh. What? Um, help. Wait, I just- I just got stuck here. Help! What? Okay, wait, can I morph out of it? Wait, now I'm back. What the heck is going on?